Hi everybody. Today I am going to show you how to configure, how to define a client in the name server, and uh, how to allocate a resource to the name client, and how to deallocate a resource, as well as how to uh, initialize the boss installation on a client. Basically, today I will be working on a name server and doing all these steps. The host name of our name server is AIX server, and uh, we have all these resources and missions defined. And we have one LPP source for AX 53TL5 LPP, and one spot that's uh, AIX 53TL5 spot. And we don't have any missions defined except our master server. And uh, you see a lot of uh, install B bundles defined. So I'm going to add the uh, client's IP address to our NIM server's ETC host. Let's say it is client one and uh, its IP is 192.168.2.16 and uh, if in your uh, in corporate environments they used to add it in the DNS server also here it is my home network so I don't I don't have any DNS server so if you're working in office just add it in the DNS entry and uh, basically I don't have a client mission I'm just virtually assuming that uh, I have a client so I'm just going to add the client information to my uh, name server smitty name okay over well here go to perform your name administration task and uh, if the client uh, belongs to the same network address of your name server then you can directly add the mission otherwise you have to add a network object uh, I mean if the client belongs to a different network address then you need to add a network and then you have to add the mission so basically uh, normally we add only the missions in most of the environments the clients will be of the same network address of the name server so here I'm adding the mission so just go to the manage missions and then select define a mission and the uh, host name of the mission you just give the host name the IP address will be taken from your etc host file so based upon your IP address the network object will be selected and uh, if you want to select the primary network interface uh, name you can select or just leave it as it is and just press enter the object will be created okay it's done now let us see okay Here you can see uh, in class machines we have master as well as we have one client machine that is client one that is of type standalone or you can find out using the lsname-t standalone command also if you want to see more information about the client lsname-l will show and uh, if you want to allocate a resource or if you want to add a resource to the client you can always add it using hyphen o command allocate what type of resource it is lpp underscore source okay 
okay now we have allocated the one LPP source to the client machine let's see okay here you can see in the lsm hyphen l output the LPP source is equal to axy TTL5 LPP earlier it was not there and now after allocating you can see it in the output and the most important thing to check over here is the current state and the M state M state is, uh, is the machine state and C state means the current state the current state is ready for any more operation so if the C state is ready for any more operation then you can um, you can um, change the C state to the maintenance mode or you can initiate the boss uh, it's the basic operating system installation and after initializing it if you don't want to do the installation you can you can always reset the current state to uh, the ready operation ready state so we have defined the machine and uh, I have allocated a LPP source to the client if I don't want I can always uh, deallocate it using nim hyphen o deallocate so whenever you do uh, any operation like this always verify uh, whether it is successfully completed or not now you can see the LPP sources uh, object is removed from the client so this is how you allocate a LPP source or spot to a client or if you do allocate it